Today we're going to change the oil on a 2017 Kia Optima. Alright, there is the oil weight size and there is the filter number for this 2017 Kia Optima. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and lift up the car. Alright, so we'll go ahead and lift up the car. Insert the jack in. And there is a spot right there, right where the light is at. Go ahead and lift. And we'll go ahead and lift up the car. Alright, and always put a jack stand to make sure the jack does not fail. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the oil cap. Go ahead and loosen that up. Set that up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and crawl underneath. All right, so down here you have a series of screws all the way around. And that's to remove the oil filter. I uh, can't see it from here. Uh, maybe I'll put my light to it. Uh, no, you still can't see it. Anywho, everything's behind here. So let's go ahead and remove that. And it's a uh, 10 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and remove all those. All right, there's the splash guard protector. And there's the six screws. And now we have access to the oil filter and the oil screw. So let's go ahead and remove that screw, get our pen in place, and let it all drain out. All right, and we're gonna be using a 17 millimeter socket. See it, there it is, 17. To go ahead and break this loose. Let's see how tight it is. I might need both hands. Maybe not. Or did I just swing out of there? No, I broke this. That's cool. So let's go ahead and drain this oil. All right. There it is. So we'll just go ahead and let it drain and we'll come back to it. All right, what I suggest you doing is grab the screw for the oil. And we're gonna go ahead and just clean it off with this shop towel. There it is, nice and clean and shiny. Looks brand spanking new now. It's only a 17, so it should be brand new. Sweet. All right, so now it's almost finished. And we'll just wait for it to finish. All right, the oil is almost done draining. Let me just go ahead and cap it off. But first, I, before I cap it off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean. Uh, clean it up real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in. Right there it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and secure it. All right, not too tight, just enough. Nice and secured. All right, now it's time to remove the oil filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can spin this by hand. Nope, it's too tight. All right, I'm gonna just use this universal oil filter removal. Uh, but I am going to need both hands because you can see as you loosen it up, it opens up. But as you go to actually, as you tighten, it loosens up. And as you go to loosen it up, it tightens down. Uh, so I'm going to need both hands to loosen this oil filter up real quick. All right, I went ahead and broke it loose. Now I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up and take it out. Make sure your oil lands into your pan. Go ahead and remove the filter. It might get a little dirty. 
And there it is. No problem, just grab your shop towel. Clean your mess. Simple as that. All right, and we'll just let that drain. While we're waiting for it to drain, I'm gonna grab the new filter. One hand. Uh -huh. There it is. Cool. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of oil that's dripping and just rub it on the seal. There it is. Sweet. And just waiting for that oil to finish dri dripping. All right, that should be good enough. And I'm gonna just go ahead and thread it back into place, just like so. And these should not be over tightened. What I suggest you do is grab the shop towel and tighten it by hand. There it is, that's all you need. You do not need more than that. All right, so now let's go ahead and put our cover back into place. All right, and to put this cover back on, you just slip this piece underneath this one here. Then you put in all the screws. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and wrench them all down or use some power tools. Just don't over tighten them. Just enough. you're not hearing it going click 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 like that just simple and that should be it so now let's go ahead and drop the vehicle to add the oil so we'll go ahead and remove the jack stand and then drop the vehicle this nice and slow sweet all right let's go ahead and add the oil get some light on there go ahead and open this up and drain it whoopsie that is probably why you need two hands it's okay a little bit of oil lubrication never hurt anybody so we'll go ahead and pour all of that in there I don't think you guys want to watch that so we'll go ahead and stop that all right once you drain all the oil in there go ahead and set this to the side Take the funnel out and put it in here because we're going to use this to pour this oil into there and take it back to AutoZone for recycling. All right. Now you just put the oil cap back on and you're set. And that is how you do an oil change on a 2017 Kia Optima. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.